more sustainable long-term, uh, mid-term and also short-term plans uh, to tackle issues like uh, urban poverty. So uh, today, um, uh, Sohakam is here. So I'm together with the uh, Commissioner for Sohakam, uh, Professor Madeline Burma. So we are going to pay a visit to this uh, kampong. Um, I forgot the name. But it's, uh, Iban. The name is Iban. It's in Iban and it means graveyard. So basically, uh, I was informed that this kampong has been here for the past almost 30 years. Maybe. So there are squatters here. Uh, about 70 to 80 percent are plants, followed by the values and also Chinese. So uh, our concern has always been uh, how can we help address uh, urban poverty? Because there are a lot of uh, people from the kampongs uh, that come to the city to look for jobs or even yeah, education opportunities. However, due to maybe limited uh, opportunities that they have, and, and also they cannot afford uh, housing, so they can squat. So today I come uh, to better understand the issue and to look at uh, long term, mid, long term, medium, and also short term things that we can do. So one of the things that we are very concerned is the education of the students here. Uh, I want to make sure that at least uh, um, any children have, have proper documentation, which I will work together at Subhakam to make sure all children are properly registered and also uh, uh, passing it to JPN. Uh, second is uh, make sure the school students are going to school. Because I was briefed by Subhakam that not all students are going to school. So we want to find out the reason if it's a logistical issue or if it's money and we'll see how we can help. Uh, number three, of course, uh, is uh, healthcare. So we have been, we were informed that some of the, the, the there are some sick people, handicapped people who are staying in sector. So I'm going to talk to some uh, NGOs or even doctors to see if they can come to uh, maybe a, a, a general health school. So if, if needed, refer them to the needed uh, um, healthcare, healthcare facilities, including uh, mental health. Um, because I heard some also need psychological help. So all this we, we are here to better understand. But uh, most importantly, we want to address this issue in a more holistic way. So I, I, I'm aware that uh, there are different NGOs that come here. So we want to work together to address this issue properly. So today myself, uh, Wabi Violet, and of course Wakam, we are here. Uh, I, uh, from my office, we have purchased uh, like a um, stationary set. Uh, and we're going to distribute to the children here because I think that is the, the, the main thing that we want to focus upon so that the children can get proper education to break this cycle of poverty. So uh, I've heard there's about 50 plus to 60 families here and some families all share in one 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 uh, one, 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 one roof. Like. So but then uh, here we're here to better understand and see what we can do. So about 50 plus, almost 60 families. Depending on some families per So so we are informed that of course because this land belongs to one is uh, SDNU, SDNU uh, and partially is uh, belong to a private people. Uh, so so due to that uh, basic necessities like electricity and water is a bit difficult because this land is not this. We will see uh, on the long term how can we address this. Maybe you also need a uh, cooperation from the state government in terms of land and things like that. By the end of the day, uh, we're here to see what we can do and be effective. Thank you. Any questions? How many houses for the 60 families? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they told me 60 families, uh, but they didn't really count. Uh, we can go and see how this is. Uh, relocations, it all depends on the state government because for relocation, the, the land has to be under the jurisdiction of the state. How many children do we have? Uh, we do not know. <laughs> so, yeah, we are here to find out, so how come we actually trying to do their ground work? Any questions? 30 years or yeah. They say more than 30. About 30 years, uh, they say. 30, some 20, some 10. So we're coming and everything. So we're here to visit them. Uh, we're gonna visit their their around two hours with the elderly. Yeah, that's the way I got. I also respect for this community. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you.